Hey, how you doing? It's been a while, but here I am. I'm back and got my got my winter growth going on. Uh, been a little busy, but uh, figured it was time for me to get back in here and talk at y'all a little more. Uh, so, welcome to, you know what, let's try this out. Welcome to Good News. Who doesn't like good news? Who doesn't want good news? We all talk about how we want to see things in this world get better and be better. At a time when it seems like things are just getting worse. Right now, we are in the giving and kindness season where we give a little more of ourselves than we normally do and we be a little kinder and nicer to our fellow man than we normally are. But why is that? We all complain about the commercialization of this season and how big corporations have taken it over. Or have we just given it away to them? This is food for thought. This is the time of the year that you call those friends and relatives that we seldom speak to and we wish them a Merry Christmas and be well and send cards and gifts and a number of other things to say, hey, I thought about you. And this is also the time of the year right now during the pandemic where we're having the very unnecessary, my opinion, virtual office gathering. I have a whole soapbox about them, but moving on. My question to you is if we can do this three to four weeks during the year this season why can't we do this all the time not all the gift giving and 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 stuff like that but being kind to one another reaching out to someone that you haven't talked to in a long time doing something nice to someone you would not normally do for or look past or look over You might not know it, but your hello might be the hello that saves someone's life, that brings someone light to the otherwise darkness. I don't expect to save the world from itself, but if we're going to set the world on fire, let's take some logs off the fire so it doesn't burn so fast. And who knows, that fire might not consume us all. It might just smolder or it might just go out altogether. Right now, we've grown so comfortable at treating each other so badly that I would consider it a Christmas miracle that there are no reports on the news of anyone treating anybody, any other person like well, garbage because it seems that it is an everyday recurrence now and it is not a second thought. Here's my next question. Do we ever just give of ourselves and help others just for the sake of giving without any self-reward? Anybody 
that answers yes to that question is not being truthful to themselves. Everything we do, we do for some form of self-gratification and there's nothing in the world wrong with that. You need to feel good about the good that you do for others and yourself or you won't continue to do good. Think about it. Think about the last time you did something good for someone. How it made you feel. So, what I want is to share your random acts of kindness, your random acts of goodness, stories of goodness and good faith. People, regardless of who they are, are good at least once in their life. Everybody can do good. Selfless acts of goodness. On the battlefield, the field of battle, officers are taught to lead from the rear. In the battle for the soul, I believe you should lead from the front. I um, most days stop at the grocery store on the way home from work and this particular day I stopped in and this gentleman stopped me as I was going in and he asked me to give him some money so he could get something to eat for him and his wife who were homeless. I told him to wait right there that I would get him something to eat and I'd be right back. I went in the grocery store, I did my shopping, I picked up dinner for my family. I also picked up dinner for this gentleman who was waiting outside. Um, at the cash register, I bagged it up in a separate bag. I proceeded out of the store and I looked for the gentleman and I looked for him and I looked for him and he was nowhere to be found. I've had this happened to me on several occasions not the same but different different cases different occasions but what I'm saying is I was willing am willing to share my grace with someone that doesn't have the grace that I have because this gentleman was not there does not mean that I am going to stop trying to share my grace to be there for my fellow man if I can. It has not soured me because on all the occasions that this has happened, the one occasion or occasions that people have been there waiting so that I could give of myself to help them has been worth all of the times that no one has been there. I think if you have grace regardless of what it is and you refuse to share it then you are not being truthful to who you really are, or are you? I think in this world, as we live as Christians, part of what we need to do, or part of what we should be doing as Christians is sharing our grace. I can't tell you that you have to. I can't tell you that you know you have to do what I do because not everybody can do what I do and I can't do what you do. But somewhere, somehow, sometime, 
sharing your grace is the right thing to do. And it's a good thing to do. We have to figure out how we can continue past this season to be good and gracious towards our fellow man. And when we figure that out, it's not going to be done in a day, it's not going to be done in a week, it's not going to be done in a year. But when we figure that out, we can move forward as a race on this planet. But until we do, keep up the good fight. Be good to your fellow man. You'll see down on the bottom of my email, mjwgoodnews at gmail.com. What I want you to do is I want you to send me your random acts of kindness, your acts of goodness. And I will share them anonymously, of course. And maybe if we can spread enough random stories of random acts of kindness or acts of goodness that we can turn the tide and maybe we can be better or try to be better as a society. At this time and all times, you know, um, I'm always asking the same question. Who's shaking the jar? Who stands to benefit from your act of kindness, from your act of goodness? Look in the mirror. It's been staring at you all the time. It's been staring you right in the face. For all you Christians out there to celebrate the season of Christmas, I wish you a Merry Christmas. For all of you out there to celebrate other other happy holidays during this time of the year, I wish you well and happiness and goodwill. All of my friends and family, I want you to know that I love you. If I haven't heard from you in a while, if you haven't heard from me in a while, you should know that I'm thinking about you. Pitfall. Um, God bless you. Be well. And be safe.